Good morning. Okay, so in in this video, I'm going to show an example how to call a macro um, or how to use a macro to call an opaque behavior that we've created. Um, so if we go into the specification of the opaque behavior that we create, um, I have a little script here using structured expression. And inside that script, we have my parameter and we set the value to my parameter so that it pulls in the string here so that you can manipulate this um, using the macro um, or you can also, in evaluation mode, you can set the argument here. Um, uh, the next thing that I do is I'm finding all the requirements in the model. <clears throat> One trick here um, is the script actually um, can't find the default scope uh, if it's set to blank. Like if you just have the whole project selected, it'll return a null here. So what I've gone ahead and done is um, I created this simple script to grab the pro to grab the model top model element and uh, set that as the scope for the find. So that way, when we apply this, this will be used in a profile in the future. Um, and when we use it, it will automatically be able to run no matter what model we put it in. So we set the scope to get the model. Um, and then inside that model, uh, we're going to return all the requirements. After that, um, we just add my parameter, which is an input from the user. It can be here, or I'll also show it to you in the macro script. Then we're just adding a simple string here. And then this this we're going inside the find. You can see it's named arg1, arg1 here. So this is we're going to return a list of all the requirements. We're just going to return the first requirement we find, and we're going to get its name, and we're going to return it. So this will be whatever you return, uh, or whatever the user inputs. In this case, it's going to be a concat, and then the first requirement it finds. And if we evaluate it, we see a concat, and then r3 is the name of that requirement. So now how to use this in the context of a macro. So the first thing that uh, we need to do is actually create a macro. Um, I already have one. So if we test it out, you can see a concat r3, and then it says the macro is executed. So we know that it did it successfully, but what's inside this macro? So um, let's go ahead and um, let's just organize. Uh, and edit the code so that you can see it directly. So the first thing that we do is import all of the different uh, things that we need in order to facilitate this. Um, and then we define the GUI, the, uh, the log so that we can spit out the results uh, down here in the notifications window. We go ahead and we grab the project and then we find the element, my behavior that we want to call um, and then we wrap it in using the expression helper. We wrap it in uh, this behavior expression. Um, and then we here's where we the user inputs the argument where we get A. And then we return that. Uh, we save this to the result using this argument. So we, we grab the behavior here that's been wrapped um, for use. And then we give it the argument, the string A, and then it returns the results. So we go ahead and run that, and there we go.